YouTube automation is blowing up and we're entering the YouTube revolution, where average people like you and I are making more money than doctors and other famous YouTubers. Now the best part is, it is all done without showing your face. What if I tell you that within the next 12 months, you can build a life of freedom, meaning you've got financial freedom, time freedom, and location freedom, all by using YouTube automation as your business model. Now the fact that you click on this video shows me that you're interested in building your own faceless YouTube automation channel, like I did myself in the last 12 months. Now we've got two options. You can either procrastinate, you can watch this video, or who knows, maybe not even watch this video at all. Simply go watch some other stuff, watch some Netflix, go chill, do whatever. Or you can put away all of your other distractions and you can focus on this video to figure out the best YouTube automation channel to start in 2023 and beyond. I hope you chose the final option. If yes, let's get started. So my name is Yuri. I've made over a million dollars here on YouTube since starting in 2019. If you want to start your own YouTube faceless YouTube automation channel, meaning you do not spend any time trying to figure out how to record videos, how to edit them, how to create thumbnails, or anything like that. In fact, you do not have to appear on camera yourself, then this full YouTube automation breakdown is for you. But this is actually coming from someone that has experience in the business model. In 2019, I started making personal YouTube videos about my Instagram theme page business. Now that right there turned into a general online business channel. However, the problem was that I had to do all the work myself. When I got sick in about September 2019, my income dropped like crazy and that's why I realized I didn't have a business but I was the business. And that's where I shifted my focus to outsourcing videos which the model is now known for as YouTube automation. Now since then, I tried over 15 different ways of doing YouTube automation until I finally found my golden strategy. And since then, I've made over a million dollars with my YouTube automation channels, which was done with three out of those 15 ways. Now I'm sharing that to show you that I've been at both sides of YouTube success. So I'm about to break down the best YouTube automation channels you can start, and here's why. It is beginner friendly, it's evergreen, and it has very low startup cost. See, what most people do is this, and it's the exact reason over 95% of them actually fail. They watch a video on TikTok about YouTube automation recommending some random channel they should start without looking at all the equations, and then they actually start that channel, which results in them working 10 hours a day on the wrong channel and losing all their money. Now instead of doing that, let's take a look at choosing the right opportunity for you. In order to find the best channel, we need to take a look at these six different elements. Starting off with CPV, standing for cost per video. This is the cost of production per full video, including script, voiceover, editing, and thumbnail design. CPM, cost per mil, the amount of money you make per 1000 views. Competition, the volume of people competing to win in the same niche as you. Evergreen, videos that remain relevant for years down the line or forever. An example would be how to tie a tie. As that is an action that always needs to be done years down the line from now, it will remain relevant, thus considered evergreen. Then we have monetization, the ability to monetize your YouTube channel with ads by joining the YouTube Partner Program. And then finally, DIYF, the do-it-yourself factor. Is it likely to create the videos yourself if you don't have the money to outsource yet? Starting off with a meditation channel. Now a meditation channel is often mentioned in YouTube automation content and I can see why because the CPV is very very low. For about 20 up to $25 you can get fantastic meditation videos done. This will be very very high quality. And then the DIYF is extremely easy. By downloading a few clips and background music you can very easily put together a video. Now all of that sounds good but that also leads to high competition. Anyone can easily start a channel like this. The videos are indeed evergreen, meaning in years from now, the video will still be relevant. The CPM is medium, which after all is not bad. However, the big issue here is monetization. YouTube has been demonetizing these classic meditation channels left, right, and center, making this a saturated, non-monetizable niche for beginners. Next up, short documentaries. Now documentary channels are getting more and more popular by the day due to the rise of channels like Magnus Media. This clean video essay style attracts a lot of people as it's a respectable thing to do. Now let's break down the elements. The CPV is extremely high. In order to compete with the high quality channels like Magnus Media, you have to invest money into your video production. This isn't cheap by any means and not affordable for most beginners. You could choose to upload less frequently, but this means you only have one shot per month 
to go viral, which is not ideal. The CPM here is high, as usually these videos are long video topics that come with a high CPM. Think about the business industry, for example. Monetization ability is perfect, there are no issues there as long as you use the four content layers I always mention, script writing, voiceover, editing, and a thumbnail designer, but this comes with the nature of these videos, so that shouldn't be a problem. Making the videos evergreen is optional. You can decide to choose topics that are indeed evergreen, or you can make videos about trends. Now for beginners, the competition is high. If you don't have big budgets to slap onto these videos, you'll compete with people that do, and usually, in business, money wins. The DIFY is extremely low. In order to produce these videos, you need to have an exceptional skill set in editing, storytelling, designing, research, and just overall production. Making this niche fantastic, but not for beginners. The startup cost is too high, and there's a tiny chance that you can do all the work by yourself to compensate for not having the budget to do so. Then we've got compilation channels. Now, compilation channels are, you never guessed it, channels where videos are made by putting together an amount of videos and turning them into a compilation. Now, this used to be the wave back in the day. Let's see if it still is. Usually, these videos are extremely evergreen. The DIFY is extremely high, as it's not complicated to put together clips and turn it into a compilation. This, on the other hand, also makes up for high competition. There's a fine correlation between the do-it-yourself factor being high, and because of that, competition being high too. The CPV on these videos is extremely low, because it's very easy to get these videos done. The CPM usually is medium, it depends on what kind of compilation videos you do, but generally speaking, there's no way your CPM is going to be very high with compilation channels. Now that looks like a fantastic niche format, right? Well, yes, but only if it weren't for YouTube not really monetizing this type of channel format. As everyone can find clips and put them into a compilation video, you find many similar videos on YouTube, meaning there's no added value which then leads to demonetization. Now there are hundreds of more channels we can analyze. Animation channels, make money online channels, sport channels, NFT channels, travel channels, tech channels, all of which could be good, but generally it comes down to this. You either have a browse-based channel, a channel that gets the majority of their views from the YouTube homepage, or a search-based channel, a channel that gets the majority of their views from YouTube search. Now, as we're trying to find the best model for beginners, I found that search-based channels are extremely easy to start with and very beginner-friendly. This is exactly how I made over a million dollars on YouTube, where just three years ago, I was kind of a noob. So let's take a look at the search-based channel and all of its elements. The CPV is extremely low. Ladies and gents, I've seen people's video production costs being just $5. In fact, I've seen it go as low as $2 for videos that can make back thousands of dollars in return, and I'll prove that in just a bit. The CPM can be extremely high if done the right way. I have seen CPMs go as high as $150 in some of these search-based channel industries. The competition is low. Not many people know this model exists or have ever thought about dedicating a channel just to search traffic specifically, which opens up a realm of opportunities. Now, these channels, depending on the topics, are naturally evergreen. There have been videos in this industry collecting millions of views per year since 2010. This video right there, for example, about how you can tie a tie has a ton of views, and every single month, it is still collecting a couple million views, which means this person is still making thousands of dollars a year from a video that is from 2010. Now, the ability to enter the partner program and monetize with ads is perfect. There are no issues at all. And a cherry on top of the cake, the do-yourself factor is extremely high. It doesn't require much skill set to create videos for search-based channels, which means that if you're watching and you don't have a whole lot of money to spend every month on production, this could be great for you. So that right there looks like the perfect channel setup. Trying this search-based model after failing for a few months straight, I was able to make it big time, all done with videos that are easy to make yourself if you need to, but ideally, outsource at low production cost with a high ROI. This video right there is a great example of what I'm talking about here. So this video cost me about $5 to produce. And as you can see, this video has 2.3 million views. It made back almost $9,000 in return. But the best part, I uploaded this about three years ago and it's currently still getting a decent amount of views and making me a couple dollars every single day. And it's not just one video. This video right there started off kind of slow, but then it started ranking. This video cost me $20 to make. And as you can see, it is just steadily ranking over time I'm getting that YouTube search traffic, where as of right now, it's kind of at its peak, and this is within a high CPM industry. You can see that my RPM on this is $71, which tells you 
I know what I'm talking about here. Now, since I know quite a lot about high CPM topics, I figured I'd make another one. And as you can see, this one is my best video ever, $30,562 with 600,000 views, where currently it is still ranking high in search and it's still making me a couple dollars every single day. So with all of the necessary elements, let's take a look at the details. A search-based channel can be made within any industry. In fact, you can even choose not to choose an industry and simply upload whatever you like. Your sole focus is on ranking YouTube videos high in search so that the people that search for these phrases end up clicking on your videos, which ends up generating revenue. Now, why does this work well, you say? Well, YouTube, just like Google, has a search engine. In fact, YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. Google is number one, and very conveniently, YouTube is owned by Google, which means their YouTube videos will also rank high in Google search. Now, there are dozens of millions of searches being done on YouTube every single day, meaning there are millions and millions and millions and millions of views waiting for you to be collected every single day. Now, the even better part is this is such an underground method. I've not really seen anyone else talk about this, that as of right now, there's still a crazy amount of opportunity for you. The demand is much higher than the supply. And in fact, there are so many, there are dozens, hundreds, thousands of different keyword phrases that you can make videos about. Now, in order to build a successful business, you need to create supply and there needs to be demand. In fact, if there's more demand than supply, you have found a gap in the market, which is exactly what YouTube search based channels is all about. Now, spotting that gap in the market is the skill that can make you $10,000 a month with your search based channel, like I did right here from summer 2021 to September 2022. I went from $1 per day to $10,000 a month, and it has been making me over 10K per month consistently since September 2022. So the best channel to start is a high volume search based channel. Now you're probably thinking, Yuri, that sounds great, all good, fantastic, but I've got no clue what these high volume search based channels are. Let me explain. If you look at any business, it always comes down to supply and demand. It's no different on YouTube. You've got a viewer which is ready to watch something, also known as demand. Then you've got videos, which are ready to be watched, also known as supply. So all you gotta do is find where exactly the demand is located and then react with supply. So translating that back to YouTube, this is what you get. It's about finding high volume search phrases with a lack of supply and then creating the supply. Here's an example. As society is changing, many men have no clue how to tie a tie, which means that their problem is not being able to tie a tie. They want to figure out how to do this, which creates demand. You check the current search results and none of the videos fills up that demand. You've now identified a gap in the market as you've got the demand, but there's no supply. All you need to do is create a supply with a step-by-step -step video on how to tie a tie. Well, someone just did that and created a high volume keyword search-based channel around how to tie a tie. Now you're wondering, how is that channel doing? Well, it has 155 million views in just four years, adding 5 million views every single month. With a conservative RPM of $1.50, that means he made $232,500 with these simple videos. Now, 232 k in four years sounds great already. What's even better is knowing that it only took him 81 videos to do this. Now, I started following this exact model for years ago, and look what happened. I've made close to $500 in just AdSense revenue with just this channel alone, which is the money you get from putting ads on your videos. Now, let alone brand deals and affiliate marketing, which I'll talk about later on. So here's what this channel comes down to. We find a gap between supply and demand. We then create the supply in video form and outsource this process. First step, make $10,000 per month from the backlog of ranking videos on your channel. See, with other business models like dropshipping, affiliate marketing, Amazon FBA, etc., etc., you make a sale once and that's it. You have to find a new customer again and again or sell it to them again and again. You have to spend ad money to find that customer. You have to do a whole lot of stuff to convert. With YouTube search based channels, you rank videos and once they're ranked, they will continue to bring in money for years down the line. Not just one day, not just one week, but years down the line. This video right here was uploaded almost three years ago. I outsourced this for $20 and I made that back in the first five days. And since then, every single dollar is profit and it still makes me about five up to $10 every single day. The work was done once and the rewards can be enjoyed over and over again. But Yuri, that sounds cool and all, but that's just $5. So what, who cares? You cannot even buy a coffee with that these days. Well, you're right. 
The real power comes in when you've got a backlog of videos ranking high in search that each bring in $5 every single day. You need just 20 of these videos to make 100 bucks a day. Or you need 50 videos to make $5 to make 250 or 10 videos to make $30 to make $300. Or imagine having 50 videos make $20 a day, which would add up to $1,000. Well, that's exactly what I've done. So that's why I believe this is the best YouTube channel format. So here are the four next steps to start your $10,000 a month search based channel. Number one, your channel setup. Number one, the golden team. Number three, the workflow. And number four, the affiliate marketing secret. Now, if you keep watching this video, I'm gonna give away a ton of free templates that you're gonna need in each of these steps. Step number one, the channel setup. This is the process of setting up your channel, starting with your name. And to be honest, this doesn't matter at all. ChatGPT can help you come up with a name in seconds. So what I want you to do is go to ChatGPT and then simply type in, can you give me 10 potential channel names for and then whatever you wanna put. Simply click on send. And as you can see right there, it is now gonna generate 10 YouTube channel names. And there we go, Info Central is my channel name. So for a search-based channel, your name doesn't matter at all. It's the content itself that makes or breaks your name. Look at Mr. Beast, for example. That name doesn't make any sense, but he made it make sense by creating legendary YouTube videos. Then next up, we have to create your channel. For this, you need a new email. And you wanna make sure to keep this email private. Never make this public. That is one of the easiest ways to make sure you're gonna get hacked on YouTube. Once you've created this email, you wanna to go to YouTube and then you wanna make your channel. Simply put in the name that you chose. I chose in Central. Once you've done that, we need to customize your channel. Step one in that is creating a channel art. What I recommend you do is go to this gig right here and simply buy channel art for just $5. It will get you a quality logo and a quality banner. Next up, you need an about page for your YouTube channel. For that, you want to go to ChatGPT again and tell it this. Can you create a channel about page for my YouTube channel about social media tutorials? Welcome to Info Central, the ultimate destination for all things social media. We know that navigating the ever-changing world, blah, blah, blah. As you can see, it is now creating a channel about page. Once this is done, copy it and put it into your channel section. And then the final step for channel customization is a default channel description so that you don't have to do this over and over again. What I always do is set up a channel hashtag, in this case, hashtag info central, and simply put my contact email for brand deals in the description. This is not my actual YouTube email because once again, that's an easy way to get hacked. So for that, create a separate brand deal Gmail account. Now it's time to focus on the good stuff, creating the golden team. Running a YouTube automation business comes down to outsourcing. I personally have a team of over 30 people across all my companies. You probably know the saying, if you wanna go fast, go alone. If you wanna go far, go together. In order to outsource videos, you usually need these positions. Number one, a script writer. Number two, a voiceover. Number three, a video editor. And number four, a thumbnail designer. All of which you can find on freelancer platforms. You've got Upwork, you've got Fiverr, you've got onlinejobs.ph, you've got freelancer.com, you've got many, many more. On each of these platforms, you can create a job post. In this job post, you specifically mention the requirements necessary to get the job done. Now to make this easy for you, I'll leave a job template in the description down below that you can use yourself. Once you start getting applicants, it is time to choose the right person. Now be very, very careful. Choosing the wrong freelancer might slow you down like crazy. So here's what I recommend you do. Number one, you pick freelancers that have done this type of job before. Number two, they have a high job success rate on the platform, 90% plus. Number three, they're very punctual and clear in communication. If you follow all of these three steps, you're gonna be sure to find a good person. Now here's what to do to get a good pricing model. Often you find freelancers applying from countries like Pakistan, Philippines, India, but how do you determine the price per script? voiceover, video, or whatever it is that they need to deliver. Well, instead of charging them per video, you wanna look at the hourly rate in the country, which in Pakistan, for example, is about $3 per hour. Now I'm fully against charging that amount. In fact, I like to pay my freelancers more, much more compared to their local rates. I do that because then they appreciate the job more. And number two, it gives them a better life, which in that way, everyone wins. Now let's say that you double the price. In Pakistan, $3 per hour is the normal wage, which I will make $6 per hour. And it takes two hours to write a full script. This way, you can now propose $12 per script by explaining you even doubled their hourly wage and it takes them only two hours if they write a script 
according to your specific strategies. This way, you always convert back from an hourly wage instead of randomly just making up the price. And by doing so, this way, you usually get a lower price, yet the freelancer is happy too, because they get paid twice their hourly wage, for example. To make that even better, you can then give them instructions, which lets them do the job in a shorter time window. It's a big win-win situation. Now, once you hire the right person, you need to send them instructions so that they can get to work. And here's what to avoid doing so. Doing all of this manually. When I started growing my search-based channels, I needed more people. I hired more people and then instructed them manually one by one. That's all good, but the pain kicked in when those team members left and I had to instruct the new ones all over again. So because of that, you need to use SOPs, Standard Operating Procedures. This includes every single step, process, detail, to do the work needed. You can write this out or create a simple video with Loom going over everything that needs to happen. You need this for every position in your business so that when someone leaves, you can send the SOP instead of manually explaining it all over again. Step number three, workflow. You need a workflow to make sure production runs smoothly. I'll give you a free template for this later on in the video. Now to set up your workflow, you need a project management software. You can use Trello, you can use Asana, you can use Monday, Rike, it doesn't matter, just get one. Now because the operations for search-based channels aren't that complicated, the workflow won't be either. In the description down below, you'll find a link to this, but first, let me explain this. As you can see, this is a Trello board. Trello is a project management software in which you can manage various projects. Now, we've set up a very easy to use, simple workflow so that you can use that. I'll show you how it works. I'll quickly demonstrate it. So on Trello, you've got a list and then within that, a card. This is a list, this is a card. This is a list, a list, a list, and I can then add cards. And what I can do is start off by putting in a video topic. For example, the top five water slides in America. There we go. I have just entered a video topic. In this board, you will add all of your freelancers, which you can do by clicking on share and then simply adding them with their email or their name. Once they're in there, they can then start using the board for their project management. Production always starts with the script writer because hey, if there is no script, there is no voiceover to be done and no video to be edited. So getting started, you can either slide this over to the script writers working on it card or you can simply click right there, click on members and then select your freelancer right here so that that person can get going. Now this means that the script writer is now working on this. Once that person is done, you can instruct that person, which you've already done within your SOPs, to then slide over the card to the completed scripts list. What you can then do as a channel owner is simply click on it and then review it. Now you will end up at a point where that is not necessary anymore. However, I found that in the beginning, it is very important that you do so. If it's perfect, you can simply slide it over the script finished. If it's not, you can slide it over the feed feedback from and you then work out the feedback either in the comment section, on WhatsApp, on Slack, on your central communication platform, which once again should be mentioned in your SOP. And that entire workflow simply continues like that for every single content layer. So once the script is done, the voiceover will then start working on it. Once that is done, you'll drag it over to the voiceovers finished. The editor will then pick it up and start working on it. And you can see that with that workflow, it is simply gonna go from list to list, and then eventually it will end up right here on full videos finished, uploaded on private, and then it even uploaded online. Now, all of this stuff is optional. You don't need to use this, and you don't need to use every single list, but this is just to give you an idea of what it could look like. Now, depending on your channel, you might want to adjust all the lists. For example, if you don't need a script writer because you create short videos that don't really need script writing, get rid of that list. You can take our template with the link in the description down below after watching this video, and then you can adjust all of it yourself. Now, what is very important is that you don't work in this one, but you click on the three dots right there, you click on the more, and you click on copy board, and then add it in one of your own sections, because otherwise you cannot use it. Having all of that set up, we're now going to jump into step number four, which is the affiliate secret. Now, making money with AdSense on these videos is fine, but adding another income stream on top of that is even better, like Steven does, our head coach at Automation First. Steven was able to build his search-based channels up within no time. What's even more impressive is the affiliate marketing revenue he's been able to build on the side, all of this while living in South Africa. For this, you use what I call 
problem solving videos with a solution in the form of a product. And here's how that works. Someone has a specific problem. They don't know how to fix it and then they go to YouTube. They use a search term that has a solution craving intention. How to change Netflix location is a perfect example of this. Their problem? Not being able to watch Netflix in the location they want. A solution for that? A VPN software that helps them change their location. VPN products have affiliate programs available. Now I use this exact keyword, how to change Netflix location, to make $2,500 in commissions. And that is just one keyword. Imagine you rank 50 keywords that have solution craving intention, meaning you easily sell a product in the back end as it's the solution to the problem a viewer was looking to solve. Now that is genius, and not many people do this, leaving millions of dollars on the table waiting to be collected by you. Yes, you. So, how do you find these so-called solution craving keywords? Number one, you can do the hard way, or number two, you can do the easy way. The easy way is going to affiliate networks to look at products and write down which exact problems they solve, to then later on find keywords that match this. For example, a VPN solves the problem of not being able to access specific content due to country limitations. Now with that solution in mind, think about which keyword phrases people would type in that needs a solution in the form of a VPN. Here are three examples. How to change your location on iPhone. How to watch US Netflix on laptop. How to stay safe on free Wi-Fi connections. All of these can be fixed by using a VPN, which makes it a great offer to promote. Or a website hosting company. It solves the problem of not being able to host a website on the internet. Example keywords for this are how to host a website online, best web hosting platform for e-commerce websites, how to create a website as a beginner, all of which get fixed by having a hosting company. Now those are just two. There are endless opportunities endless opportunities for you to grab. So knowing all of this exists, you now have two options. You can choose to figure it out by yourself. You can create your own channel. You can do the research yourself. You can build your own team. You can find your own niche. You can figure out every single thing yourself, run into all of the roadblocks and then try to fix them which might work, but it will likely take you months, if not years to get there. And within all of that time, it takes you to figure it out, you could have made so much more money. And while trying all of that, you've got zero community, which makes it more likely for you to fail. So you can do it that way and try and figure it out by yourself, or you can do it the smart way by investing your knowledge, joining a program that is designed in such a way just for you to succeed. Now that is why I created Automation First, a full program where me and my team guide you and help you build a YouTube search-based channel to $10,000 a month. We're the only program in the industry that is highly optimized for search-based success. And Automation First is not just a course. We cover the entire process of building a $10,000 a month search-based channel, which is step number one, setting up your channel. Number two, finding your unique search format. Number three, generating keywords. Number four, qualifying keywords. Number five, ranking your videos, number one. Number six, data analysis to explode your channel. And number seven, live keyword research, which is the most valuable thing ever. Now we noticed that our best students had guidance, so we decided to make this a default. As soon as you enter the program, you have a call with Steven, which is our head coach at Automation First and YouTube search legend. He's there to guide you along the way. Then you've got a full step-by-step -step video program. Here you'll learn the entire process of building a search-based channel. Most importantly, my search bar strategy. This is what many people use to go from zero all the way to $10,000 a month with their search-based channel. You'll get to see me with real-life examples of finding the right keywords, analyzing them, applying them with the YouTube search bar strategy. Now, this is the only place that I've ever shown the exact search bar strategies that I use myself. Now, with that strategy comes great result. Like Ryan, for example, who is growing his channel at insane speed. Now he says that the alphabet and underscore strategies helped him accelerate his growth. Along all of that, you'll learn number one, the fundamental phase, which is all about understanding the YouTube search based format. Then finding your actual format, which you can choose to go down the high CPM route or the normal CPM route. And then I'll show you how to achieve long-term success because I've had these channels for about three years now and that have made me over a million dollars and currently it's still bringing in about 30 up to $35,000 every single month. Number two, the setup phase. How to set up your channel for success. Making sure that your channel is set up for its best performance. Number three, the blow up strategy. This is the exact strategy, including all of these secret YouTube search bar strategies 
that made me over a million dollars. I'm gonna show you how you can generate all of those keywords with my strategies and then qualify the potential. Because if you do not qualify them, you have got no clue what you're doing. And that right there is the biggest mistake other people make. A lot of people try and build these search-based channels, but they're not succeeding because they don't know how to successfully qualify the potential. For that, you need a Hawkeye view, which I've created a full module about explaining exactly what that is all about. Number four, a DIY guide to make videos. If you do not wanna outsource all of the stuff yourself from the get-go, then you can even create these videos yourself. Because of that, it was needed for me to jump in and show you step-by-step -step how you can create videos with your phone or with your laptop so that you could still create those videos and upload them to your channel. Number five, which is what I call the Burj Khalifa CTR. This is the ultimate thumbnail strategy for YouTube search channels with its aim to get a higher CTR than the Burj Khalifa is tall. All jokes aside, this is the perfect way to create a good thumbnail, including live analysis of other good and bad thumbnails on YouTube search based channels. Number six, very important, SEO secrets. How do we actually rank videos number one in search? And I actually use this to rank over a thousand videos high in the search results. And then part number seven, the most valuable thing I've ever created, a live 90 minute keyword research session using all these search bar strategies that I use myself, including my thought process, which is the most valuable thing. So all of that is live footage of what I do myself to find the videos that go on to make thousands of dollars. You also see me analyze data to grow even faster. Have you ever wondered how some creators grow exponentially and others just don't? Well, analyzing data is a big part of it. Ryan said that this is exactly what I'll be using to grow to 10K per month within the next six months. Now, all of the best results come by guidance. The problem with most online programs is that there's no guidance, there's no support system. So you watch the video, you've got questions, but no one can help you answer that question. You then get stuck, and then from there, you either go down the wrong path because you don't know how it works, or you do not take action at all and you quit. Which is why we've set up weekly coaching calls from industry experts where you can join to ask them any question you want, giving you the support you deserve. Now, every month, I'll be there to give a full report of the YouTube search industry. I'll jump in a call with you guys and show you step by step what I did in that exact month. So, Here's what you get within the Automation First Academy. You get full access to Automation First and all of its courses. A YouTube search course, a normal YouTube automation course, a YouTube team building course, and much more. Weekly coaching calls with industry experts, access to a private community with like-minded individuals, a YouTube automation journal and workbook that we specially designed for your success, hiring templates, workflow templates, and much more. All right, now listen, I was actually one of the ones that was against online programs and courses and gurus, but that was only because I started buying them from people that didn't actually do the business model themselves. It wasn't until I started buying programs from people that actually did it and chose the right programs when I started making much more money. In fact, last month I spent over $28 thousand dollars on a program that is now helping my business make more and more money. And that is where my perception changed. I now understand that by building the best YouTube automation coaching program, I'll get the best results in return. And because of that, my entire focus is you actually winning, actually achieving what I just told you about. Because if you win, I will win. If you do not win, I also won't win. Now that right there creates a win-win situation. Now let me tell you, there's never been a better time to start a search-based YouTube channel. Now if you're ready to take action like Ryan did, who's now exponentially growing his channel in revenue within just four months, he's already ranking dozens of videos number one in search, then make sure you do so. The longer you wait, the more competitors will rank number one instead of you. People are gonna use these search phrases anyway, so it might as well be your video that they end up clicking on. So imagine watching this video all the way until the end, not taking action, and then in six months from now, you see all of these videos rank number one in search. Imagining that could have been you now making 10K a month. So now the choice is yours. Will you be the action taker, which is the person that takes action, actually goes out there, starts his search based channel, and then makes money from this? Or will you be the procrastinator, the person that watches video all the way until the end, you're still watching, but you're not gonna do anything about it. Tomorrow, you'll try and find the other best business model and the other best channel to start, and you keep doing that forever. I'll leave the choice up to you. But of course, I'd be very happy to see you inside automation first. If that sounds like something you would like to do, then click on the link down below, and then I'd love to see you inside automation first. With that being said, I wish you an amazing day, and then I'll see you on the inside.